Hi guys, it's me, KSL of KSL Tech Studios here, and I've got a new video. Now, this might be a little bit of a stranger video of mine, because I really didn't do much of these uh, types of videos, because usually what I do is unboxings, reviews, other uh, that kind of stuff. Right now I'm going to do a restoration video. Isn't that cool? So a few weeks ago I went uh, to the recycler, and I found me a very nice monitor. It's a Dell 2407 WFPB, I think. It's a pretty nice monitor. But there's only one problem. It doesn't work. So what we're going to do right now is put a new power supply board into it. Right there. Look at that. New power supply board. So let's get to it. So the first thing you must do is place the display on a flat, soft surface, such as a towel or a blanket, on a desk. Not on a bed, not anywhere else. A desk, please. Then, you will have to remove the stand, which is simply done by pressing the button behind it. Very little black button. Press the button, it will spring up, then you will need to pull out. Take that away somewhere. So the next thing you will need to do is remove these four little black screws behind the stand. Then, after you have done that, flip the display over so that the display panel faces you. So after you have removed those four black screws, you must then use a small flat tipped screwdriver to carefully snap off the outside part of the display and the bezel. Once you have done that, you must flip the display over again, being careful not to snap it back in place. After you have unsnapped the, the edges of the display, now you must lift off the top portion, the, bo the back portion, sorry, from the front portion, like this. Simply so. Okay. Alright, so we took that off. Now we're going to put this aside and start working on the screws. Just to make sure, guys, you do not need to worry about these few screws down here. These are not important. After I've done removing the screws, I will give you another update. So this is now what the monitor should look like with the shields and screws removed. Now we're going to focus on the power supply board right now because that is what tends to commonly go wrong with these units. Now to remove this board there are one, two, three, four screws. Only three of them are important. These ones and this one up there are important. This is a grounding screw. It's still important but be sure to remove it because you don't want this getting ripped but that's alright because we're getting a new board anyway. So as soon as I remove this board, also, please make sure this will keep it in place, so just snap it out and it will be just fine. So now after I take the board out, I will show you how to put the new one in. Now that I've removed the power supply board, you can see what we're kind of dealing with here and what seems to be the problem on these units. As you can see, this capacitor here, this 400 volt buffer capacitor, as it's called, is leaking from out of one of the leads, which is very, very bad. We do not want that. And if you do want to go the slightly more expensive route, there is a guy on the internet, somewhere in the States, who will repair these boards, or he can send you a replacement if you choose to. Now, they're very... The problem is, are these elite capacitors... Oh, I can't show you on that generic one, but I'll show you on my little, little one of these, maybe. I hope I can show it to you. Mm, maybe there. You can kind of see elite capacitors. But they are quite problematic, and they tend to leak around this back portion here. So now, what I have done is I've ordered another power supply board from China on eBay for about $20 shipped. So, I'm going to install that board, and then I'll put, it, put this whole thing back together, probably just the shields on, 
And then we'll try powering it up and see if it works and see if the panel's any good. Okay? See you then. So I have plugged in the monitor. Let's see what happens. That's a bit strange. Hi guys, I'm sorry I left you guys hanging there on the state of this monitor. So, what had happened was I didn't fully plug the power cord in. Oops. And then I discovered that the monitor had some dead pixels in here. Basically there was a big line going through it. There was some here, a little in the middle, and some right there. And what I did was I used this tool, which will be linked in the description below, um, on, a, on a website, and just keep running it and running it and running it. And it's already been about two days or so. It's The other part of this video was made on Thursday night, I believe it was. And right now it's Sunday morning. So basically... The tool ran a series of flashes, and I had to run it for quite a while because the dead pixelation was quite severe because of how min because of how the monitor was stored. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm not gonna keep this monitor. I'm gonna sell it. It's got CCFL backlighting, and man, this thing it looks pretty good. Maybe it's just because I'm using VGA, it doesn't look that well using my ThinkPad. But I had a DVI cable hooked up to my Mac Mini and it was actually looked alright. So, yeah, I did turn the contrast down, but it looked alright, but I'd rather buy a newer Dell monitor. Even though this one's perfect, it works like a new one. It probably was worth a lot more then. So... This is kind of just a final update on this Dell monitor. After I put the new power supply board in, everything works just fine. And I hope that the new owner will this will enjoy this more than the old ones did and hopefully not throw it away when the power supply board fails. Okay, thank you for watching, and as always, leave a comment if you have one.